Hello, Baby Bean and everybody on Baby Bean Storytime. My name is Grandma Cookie, and today I'm going to tell you a story. But first, I want you to grab your favorite stuffed animal, maybe your favorite blankie, and find your favorite reading spot. We are going to read in the Beginner's Bible, Timeless Children's Stories. We're over halfway through the book. Today is the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6, 9 dash through 13, Luke 11, 1 through 4. When Jesus was on the mountain, he taught the people how to pray. Jesus said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today. Our daily bread forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one amen a captain's faith Matthew 8, 5 through 13. Jesus came down the mountain to a nearby city. Crowds of people gathered to see him. An army captain said, Lord Jesus, my servant is very sick. Please, will you help him? Jesus said, I will go to your house and heal him. The captain replied, You do not need to go to my house. Just say the word, and my servant will be healed. Jesus was amazed. I have not found anyone whose faith is so strong, he said. Then Jesus said to the captain, Go, your servant is healed. The captain ran home. He was happy to see his servant well again. A hole in the roof. Matthew 9, 1 through 8, Mark 2, 1 through 12, Luke 5, 17 through 26. Jesus was at a house preaching. Many people gathered there because they heard he was healing the sick. The house was overflowing with people. Many had to stand outside. There was no room left, not even outside the door. Down the road lived a man who could not walk. He was paralyzed. He, his friends believed Jesus could heal him. They carried him to the house. It was still too crowded, so they carried him up to the roof. The man's friend made a hole and lowered him down to Jesus. Jesus saw that the men had faith. He knew how much they loved their friend. Jesus said to the man, Your sins are forgiven. The man stood up and walked. The crowd praised God. And that is the end of today's readings. I really enjoyed reading the Lord's Prayer, and I might actually cut that out and just do a little snip of it so that it can always be there. That's something that people say um, before a meal. That's something they say before bed. That's something you can say as a prayer as well. If you don't have anything that you feel like you need to pray about, you can always say that prayer or you can always say that prayer in general to help you in anything, actually. So let's do our own little prayers right now, and then I will see you guys all next time, okay? Bow your heads.
Amen.